What's up, y'all? Peace. Hotep. Black man is God. Now, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time now, man. But I've just been kind of holding off because I, I don't know. I just I stopped being a, a WWE fan just while watching the show because it's kind of obvious that, you know, WWE, they hate black people. You know, I am kind of don't want to sound like Kanye West, but yeah, George Bush does not like black people. I mean, WWE does not like black people. I mean, goddamn. The reason I say this is because, all right, the only time that there's been a black WWE champion is The Rock, and he's, like, light as fuck. All right, he's damn near white, so he doesn't really even fucking count. Man. All right, if you want to count him, then fine. But that shit is one out of how many years have they been? Kofi Kingston should have had a fucking title reign. But he didn't. What they did was made him a gay booty eater. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He comes out with this group now. And he's like blowing trumpets. And they're just all acting gay and wearing pink. I'm like, wow. So that's what they do with him. Kofi Kingston had this uh, great character that he used to do where he was pretending to be Jamaican. Now, I know he's not Jamaican, but so what? Razor Ramon was not Cuban or Hispanic or whatever the fuck he was trying to do. It was a good gimmick, and it worked. People love Jamaican culture, and that's why he was so popular. And he had that move, Trouble in Paradise, which is awesome. And they try to copy it with Roman Reigns, this fucking Superman punch, but it's just... He paid his dues, man. He he started from the bottom. He should have got a title reign. And they just pushed him to the side and made him a part of this gay group and then made this Roman Reigns guy the, the new champion. Like, I really felt like he was intercontinental champion for so long and he's beaten so many people that's gone on to be champion. Like, why... Or they should have at least let him win the Royal Rumble. And they, then I seen this thing where they did this compilation of how he was doing all these great Royal Rumble saves. Like, they let Rey Mysterio do it. Give it to give it to Kofi Kingston. But they took away his Jamaican accent. Now he doesn't even pretend to be Jamaican anymore. And I think that kind of takes away from his character. Because, like, you wouldn't tell Scott Hall not to be Razor Ramon. You know, that's his character. I think that they just sabotaged this dude, man. And he's still a popular character, but he's just a part of a tag team, which is two people, but it's three people in the tag team. So he'll never be, like, the man. You know what I'm saying? Standing on his own. They just want to have him as this character that you laugh at. And that's what they, and that's what Triple H said to Booker T. He's like, people like you don't never get a chance to be the real champion. You just are here for entertainment. And that's what they, they have turned Kofi Kingston into. Or this bootios. Like, they just, it's so obvious that they hate black people. If you just watch this shit. And I'm a big fan of WWF or wrestling back when I was a kid. And I want to get back into it. But it's just so racist against black people. And I'm black. So what the fuck am I going to do? It's like, damn, there's no other fucking... There's the TNA bullshit, which is GFW, or I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, Bobby Lashley be in there doing his thing. I watch that sometimes, but I just, I don't know. Today I just had to make the, I've had to make the, the video about this, just pointing this shit out, about how racist these motherfuckers are. They just hate black people. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace, I'm out.